I win TV. See what others can't. Welcome to the October 14th, 2017 edition of the weekly investment news show, I win TV, where you win because we use algorithms, not people, to select stocks and manage risks in the markets. We're the robots you can trust. Why watch the talking heads on TV, who might have a hidden agenda when algorithms have been shown to make better decisions? Get those old voices out of your head and start watching iWin TV to get better results from your investments. Today we're going to cover stock selection followed by risk in the equity markets and interest rate risk. Then we'll have a brief discussion of the current value of Bitcoin. Past performance is not an indication of future performance. Please pause this video and read the disclaimer. As you can see there are currently 50 stocks in the portfolio with 86% winners and 14% losers. The average winning return is 49% with the best stock NVIDIA, returning 595% since it came into the portfolio two years ago. Followed closely by AMD which is up 532% since it came into the portfolio about two years ago. The average loss is 4% with the worst stock mobile communications provider Nokia losing 9% since it was purchased about two and a half months ago. The natural selection algorithms bought the Chinese technology company Baidu and sold the wireless communications provider T-Mobile. So now for a read of the equity markets. The risk in the equity markets remained flat this week. The risk level of the Dow Jones Industrial Average remained at very low risk while the S&P 500 remained at low risk. The risk level of the Nasdaq 100 remained at moderate risk and the Russell 2000 remained at moderate risk. And now let's talk about the current interest rate environment. Our measurement of interest rate risk improved to moderate this week. This indicates a slight risk of increasing rates, but the trend is improving. We will keep an eye on this evolving situation for you. Two months ago, we published a special edition of iWin TV, where we discussed cryptocurrencies. Are they overvalued? If we use the 7 day average dollar transaction value it might appear Bitcoin is currently overvalued. But when we look at the raw daily dollar transaction value, our measurement shows the price of Bitcoin continues to track the underlying transaction values. This indicates a healthy relationship between the price of Bitcoin and the US dollar value of goods and services being transacted using Bitcoin. As a result, we don't believe Bitcoin is overvalued. Until next week, we'll be watching the markets for you to bring you the latest opportunities and risks. Please subscribe to get better results from your investments. Thank you for watching. I win TV. See what others can't.